Business Waters Caravan Park. My trusty trailer in the background and some fabulous treetop and glamping accommodation. There's a cafe down here too, just a stone's throw from the, the vans. Closes up at two, but beautiful setting. Here we are heading down to the beach from our caravan spot. Honestly, 100 meters. Here's some treetop glamping sites. Man, very nice, very well done. Hopping out. Not much surf happening down here today, I don't think. Check it out down the beach. And there's the little gap back into the Agnes Water Holiday Park. Forty, forty-two k's, forty-six k's, forty-eight k's, fifty-one k's an hour. Hey, Dean. Yeah. What's up? What's what are they? What are what? What are those called? The larks. Are they larks? The larks yeah. Okay. Amphibious vehicles. They're going to do a, a tour of the, the bay, I guess. Cool. Pink things. Our bike trail continues from um, Agnes Waters to 1770. It's a beautiful view here. It's a nice um, sheltered lagoon um, at uh, 1770. A few boats parked up in there. And there's, there's actually quite a bit of a breeze, but it's nice on this side. It's all been protected by the little headland that we've got right in behind me there now. Lovely spot, lovely day. Fly. Here's I'm Jude making close. conversation with a beautiful kookaburra. kookaburra. Beautiful hair though, you've got the most beautiful hair. He's gorgeous. Looks like he's just moosed his hair. Oh, after a brisk pedal up the hill, we've made it to under the lee of this point. Lieutenant James Cook landed on the 24th of May 1770. Still got a little way to go to the point of the headland, but uh, it's been a nice little ride and we'll continue it. What a spot. How good's that? That's awesome, eh? Oh, dude. Beautiful. So yeah, across the road from where we parked the bikes, the tree, the little bolo, lunch area, recommended to me by a certain wreck, you know who you are. So while I am doing some computer work, I've set Dean to doing a job. We picked up some beautiful strawberries on the way to here in 1770, and guess who gets to do them all? Look at the amount of strawberries he has topped off. Isn't he doing a great job? What do you say, Dean? Next time I suggest to pull over to a food barn, fruit stall, just, I'm just gonna keep driving. <laughs> Hello, everyone. It's been a little while since my last um, broadcast. We were in um, Bundaberg. We travelled to here in Biloela, uh, it was a couple of days ago. We uh, just got in a little late there so we set up and did a few chores. And yesterday we are here mainly for one of Jude's friends, good friends, who's um, part organiser of a, um, a large festival here in Biloela. So it's a cultural festival of um, nations that are here. It also coincides with a family that's uh, returning to Biloela. Yeah, we're staying at uh, Biloela Discovery Holiday Park. May I just recommend if you if you are driving around and um, the prices aren't too bad, too much more than a normal powered water site, take on an ensuite. 
they really come in handy though. They sort of give you that sort of nice feeling of a bit, bit, bit more at home. You get a um, yeah bathroom clean, a little bit more size than what your um, your motorhome's got. So it's uh, it's a bit more relaxing to uh, spread out a little bit more. So it's a lovely day here in Bulawila today, and I look forward to um, taking part in the festival. My wife Judy there, she'll be. Um, She's going to be doing some embroidery. She brought her embroidery machine along, so she's going to be involved in um, uh, doing a, a little tea towels with the uh, the Flourish 2022 festival sign. Well, it's the Civic Centre where we've got a bit of a, a cultural display going on there in Biloela. We've got uh, food stalls, we've got arts and crafts. Um, and uh, yeah, cultural dances and fashion parades from different people's um, countries they come from. So uh, we'll go and have a look, see what it's all about. In time, from the dusty red soil plain, I am the ancient heart, the keeper of the flame. I stood upon the rocky shore, I watched the tall ships come, for 40,000 years I've been the first Australian. Here's a stop after Biloela. It's the Duranga Hotel. We're not far from the uh, well, the Dawson River, and uh, I think uh, some bloke got his license here. Uh, was it two brothers in the 1880s? And then they got the full license, 1886. Nice old pub, and we can park out the back. Judy and I are finally starting to slow down. Mind you, yeah, Judy's been doing a lot of editing. <laughs> um, we came in yesterday into Duranga. Lovely spot, yes. 
Durenga Hotel, great parking spot out the back. Let's say a pub back in the uh, late 1880s. And it had a lot of, uh, oh, I think they call it like slab, slab rooms or something out the back. And that's what uh, makes up the, uh, the places we can park right now. Um, got a little bit of a slab where a room, I guess, used to be or something. Footpaths around the place. There's some power, there's some water. And uh, yeah, last night, great pizza put on, nice cold drink. Uh, you've got the, uh, the tallies going with a bit of rugby, a bit of footy. And uh, yeah, we so clean the, the van, clean some clothes, get some editing done, plan our, um, our trip ahead of us. And uh, hey, I'll switch the camera around. You don't want to look at me all the time, but um, yeah, ahead of us there, we are close to a, a railway. So yeah, we, we hear a, a train every now and again, but I never heard it last night. And apparently they come through quite often. As I say, you just circle around here. There's an old butcher down there. It's, and we'll go past this tree here. And so there it is, the setting sun on the Duranga Hotel. So yeah, we'll be making some good progress. I'll try and put my drone up in the air and give you a bird's eye view of what's up. <laughs> 